Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. You know where it already is, where it's happening at, where the tea is being dropped, where everything is being poured up in a wine glass and we're just shaking, drinking and juking around here, okay? Don't know what I really said there, but it just sounded good. I thought I could just get it to rhyme. But we got another co-host, well she ain't a co-host, she's a host of her own show and we're basically her co-host. I'm talking about Somebody's trending hard. I'd be glad when it's over and done with. Okay, too much, too little, too late to even get back in the mess that she once was in. Okay, she tries to see the skies from being out in the dark for so long, or she just put herself in the dark. But yes, Miss Wendy Williams is who we're talking about. She's on Twitter, she's on Instagram, she's on YouTube, she's on a global scale of social media. But I don't talk about her on my platform, but I got to give y'all a little taste of the little lyrics from Denise Williams and Johnny Mathis song, Too Much, Too Little, Too Late, honey. We can't start again. We can't start anew. We just got to break up and go on our separate ways. Yes. That was Wendy probably trying to tell her husband. But right now, he's trying to get all up in her Kool-Aid, her finances and everything, want spousal support and everything. And he basically started the mess. I mean, they probably both could have been dipping and dabbing. You know what I'm saying? But he came up with a whole baby. And, you know, Wendy didn't know that man was cheating. Probably a long, long time, okay? Even probably when they had baby Kevin. Kevin done grow up to be a nice, young-looking man, okay? He had to clock his father a couple of times, you know, just recently, but he got off. He beat the charges, you know. Wasn't nobody trying to prosecute his own son, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't nobody even really trying to see it. They probably said, well, he's just taking up for his mama and how his daddy just disrespected her all over social media and the world globally. Because we know... Um, Miss Wendy Williams, she I call when it comes to re, uh, reality talk TV shows or TV shows. You know, she hosts her own show and, you know, making pretty good at it in New York, you know, doing her darn thing, okay? But basically, you know, she done had a little spill with the alcohol, some illicit drugs here and there. And it's only because she's just not happy and she wants to be on these other substances to take the pain away. But like, they say too much, too little, too late, huh? They're going to end it. And I'm hearing so many different stories out there on the social media platforms, okay? We got somebody saying she ain't leaving them. We got somebody saying, yes, she is leaving them. Then we got other people saying, well, she leaving them, but she's going to make Kevin her um, manager again. I'm like, is she doing it because she don't want to pay child support? I meant child support. Well, he probably, he acted like a child. So I guess instead of calling the spouse of support, we should group it up to what it really is. He acted like a child. So, Ugh. especially getting a whole nother baby trying to have another whole family when you're still married. Ain't that so much of nothing? That's a itch, okay? But anyway, I guess Wendy just came to the conclusion, look, I'm going to have to get rid of you. I love you. I love what we had, but it's over. Yeah, she said, guess it's over. Call it a day. Sorry that it had to end this way. I'm trying to do two chords, y'all. Uh, Johnny Mathis and uh, Denise Williams. So, okay. No reason to pretend. We knew it had to end someday this way. And that's Denise coming in. Yes, it's over. The kids are gone. Or that Kevin is gone. Well, he ain't gone too far. He probably up there with Wendy and her new DX. Okay, he ain't going nowhere. Not yet. Mm -mm. He got to take care of his mom. He got to step in where daddy stepped out. Okay? Not as a protector, but just an overseer. You know what I'm saying. What, what's the use of trying to hang on? Somewhere we lost the key. So little left for you and me. And it's clear to see. Too much, too little, too late to ever lie again. Too much, too little, too late. With you, we knew it had to end. We're in the middle. Of ending something we knew it had to end. It's over. Oh, it was over. Okay, I had to sing that to y'all because I wanted to play the version of the song, but you know, I get copyrighted. Maybe won't name money, be shutting down my video and all that. So if I hurt your ears, I'm sorry. But if you found some uh, laughter in that, come with me. Okay, let's go down this journey, this road where we talk about Wendy Williams. Okay. 
And we always know Wendy, you know, the true business woman, you know, she loves to run her mouth. She don't care who she, it affects or whatnot. Because she didn't even want to drop the tea on her own self when stuff was in the media about her. She was talking about everybody else but herself. But eventually she started to clock her own tea, which we should do. We can't tell it. Nobody can tell it better than what we can, okay? And it should be coming from us. It's the truth, okay? You deal with it, how we say it, how we put it down, or you go listen to the tabloids and everybody else spreading their truth and what the truth is, okay? But as long as you spit out your own truth, hey, people got to love it or like it. It doesn't matter. You said it. You clocked your own team, formed your own narrative, and that's just the way it is, okay? We can take it. We can leave it. We can make our own spin to it. It doesn't matter because you already said your piece on it, all right? Okay, but like I said, the tabloids are hopping out there. The newspaper are turning, and and and, and you got the social media's a buzz. You got the commentators out there. You got the cre content creators out there, and they saying everything, everything they want to say. Cause we only know, we only going by what we hear, and we putting our spin on it. But you know how I like, you know I love my Atlanta Black Star, honey. They be coming with the tea. And, you know, they have to be a little bit more legit with what they put out there because if they're putting something out there they're wrong, you can rest assured litigation will be going on. So I kind of like to stay with the ones that, you know, like to dot their I's and cross their T's and don't be putting no fake stuff up in there. So it won't be coming back on them because we know how folk get down. Yes, they flag. They'll go up there and get their lawyers. They be talking about uh, what do you call it? Cease and desist. Cease and desist. Let us be coming out everywhere. That's what the bigger YouTubers, you know, all they they pretty much do is probably flag my video. Say, no, nope, you can't. You can't. You ain't gonna make no money off of it, but you can still show it. Where in my eyes, you don't just flag me. Why do I have the video up there? But then I thought about it. Okay, if I don't get paid for it, hey, somebody still like my commentary. They're still out there looking at it, talking about it, and it's cool with me. Okay. No problems there. So basically, I'm looking for the article that Atlanta Black Star had put out on Miss Wendy Williams. Yes, Miss Wendy Williams, honey. They had got their own little news on her on uh, issues of what was being told, whether it was right or wrong or wrong, you know, it didn't matter. They don't care. They just try to find out the truth. They be having their people hitting the uh, pavement, trying to get the real scoop. Yes, Lord, they sure do. <coughs> and they came up with Wendy's thing. I'm like, oh, what are they trying to talk about Wendy for? But let's see what they're trying to say, y'all. It was written by Daryl Nelson on yesterday, August 7th. I'm a little bit behind because it didn't come across my feed. So, now, maybe it did, and I just didn't notice it because I was looking at other stores to try to bring to you all. But it's neither here nor there. We're here now. Let's talk about it, okay? The title that Daryl proposed his article to be, he states, or he gives us the um, the title. It's it's a confirmation, okay? I don't know where you've gone with the ISSA, but I-S-S-A. I don't know, okay? But that's what he wrote. It's a confirmation. Wendy Williams finally acknowledges ex-new family doing interview, okay? She evidently, she had a little interview, uh, I think it was on the Cyrus channel with Sway um, in the morning, his little radio talk uh, show hosting <laughs> platform. Uh, and he invited Wendy Williams to come out and put her in the hot seat. Just like she'd be putting everybody else in the hot seat. But she really don't really ask them to come out half time. She just talk. You know, because I kind of like hot topics. I don't really look at nobody that come and visit her in the studio. Because, you know, they be wanting to get their story out. And, you know, if they don't want to ask the answer the question Wendy wants to ask them. Then, you know, they're going to be salty toward Wendy. And they're going to, you know, have things to say once they get off camera. And when anyone fail to me, she shouldn't have asked me this question. But I tell anybody, if you're going out there and interview with these people on these social media platforms or these reality talk shows or these talk show host shows, you know they're going to ask you something personal, especially if you've been trending out there, positive or negative, in the social media world. They're going to ask you, and it's going to be like, it's an exclusive because you appeared on our show. We got the tea and everybody's going to run with it and put it on their platform. How little, how small is going to get out there. 
it, it, social media is so cool these days. Why do you even think about having subscriptions in magazines to come to your house or uh, what do you call it? Newspapers. Uh-uh. Just turn on your phone, go sign up for a lot of different platforms, and bam, there you go. Out loud, in charge, in color, ready for you to read or ready for you to listen to. Okay? That's what I was just thinking. Sidebar, you know how I get down. But anyway, going into the interview, it states, Wendy Williams admitted that her estranged husband, Kevin Hunter, had a child with another woman. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. But damn, when did we know that? She should have known that since so she probably had baby Kevin. That the man was creeping, creeping, creeping. Okay? He was laying low and spreading it wide, as um, the Tamar Braxton mama will say. Laying it low and spreading it wide. Yes. That's what she said on one of them Braxton shows when she was mad at her ex-husband because he was just made a fool out of her. You know, she was the first lady in the church and he going around creeping with ushers and, 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 and other uh, neighboring folks up in the church. They looking at her like half crazy, like she don't even know what her husband doing. You know what I'm saying? Because she been a dutiful wife, didn't really know what not. Uh, maybe she heard a little whispers here and there, but she probably, you know, confronted her husband. He said, okay, no, that wasn't me. It, it wasn't me. They lied on me, this, that, and third. And so she built up enough evidence, you know what I'm saying, to catch the joker in his game. She couldn't do nothing but say, okay, okay, and play the role until she finally found out. Probably tried to beat him to death for something, you know. Hmm, just don't know. When you, you catch your husband cheating, you catch your wife cheating. It's a terrible thing. You just don't know what be going through your minds. But, hey, let karma heads prevail and do the right thing and just separate. You know what I'm saying? Separate for a while. You know, and then if you feel like you can do without that person, then do without them. Do without them. It's better to let them go than find yourself locked up in jail somewhere wanting somebody to come put bail <laughs> or put some money on your books. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Okay. But anyway, getting back to the article. It says, had another child with a woman. Okay. And she also addressed rumors that he was going to be her business manager. Now, I heard that today. I sure did. That's why it prompted me. Because I didn't want to do a story on Wendy Williams, you know, and her debacle of a marriage. And how she was just handling things, just violent out of control. Using everything to find relief. That wasn't a good thing to use, but that's basically what she felt she needed to do. You know, drank her sorrows away, sniffed her uh, self to oblivion. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. But, uh, you know, all of it just wasn't doable. Too much money, and then she could find herself in a graveyard quicker than she probably would want to. And then poor Kevin, her son. You know, he would just feel so bad, you know. He would feel so lost. So, Wendy, we need you to straighten up and fly right and live life. Put Kevin in the rear room mirror, okay? Pay him all, do whatever you got to do. You know, if you want to keep him as your manager, so be it. Give him a big, you know, raise or whatever. But I don't know. He wouldn't be managing that for me because I think he'd be trying to get side deals. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's me. I be thinking, like, real, you know, vindictive. Like, what he getting out of this? You know what I'm saying? So, to avoid all that, I'm just paying him the money. You know, I might come easy go, easy come, easy go. You know what I'm saying? But I'll just be be rid of him. You know, like, go on. Go on with your new family. Go on with your wife. You can marry her, whatever, mistress. However you want to see her at this point. Really don't matter to me, okay? And the baby. Go on do what you got to do with the baby. Because I don't want no parts of it. I don't want to be stepmom. I don't want to be, you know, the next mom. I don't want to be, if something happened to her, she go belly up. Then you coming home with a kid. Tell me, I'm finna be... A stepmom to the child. No, mm -mm, no, not cursing the child or anything, but child ain't mine. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. So go go see somebody else about it. But see, no, nah, I, I could do it. I'm like, uh-uh. I got one by you, okay, that I knew I was getting into. And I only had one by you, so I, I'm pretty sure I was smart enough to not have more. Because then it really would be a big mess. But, okay, Cavs 18, you ain't got to get no child support. You, you, know, you know, now you're looking for spousal support. Oh, who I tell you, ain't that the pot, ain't that, ain't that the kettle caught in the pot black? I mean, you do dirt by having a mistress and a fair on me. Then you bring a baby into it. And then you want to have a nerd to ask for spouses or more. Woo, that's just, ooh, let me pull out all my hair and put on a wig, honey. Or shave all my hair and put on a wig because you just going to blew me to pieces. 
blew me to pieces. But getting back to the article, okay? It said, uh, Williams addressed both subjects on t Tuesday during a visit to the Sway in the morning show, uh, radio broadcasting show. But first, she said her divorce is moving rather slow. Honey, I don't know where to call the money you got. Girl, I'm like, give it all away. Just walk away clean, honey. Give it all away. You, I mean, you gave up your little mansion, which you and your husband shared as a family. You know, Ke look, Kevin grew up there. You got rid of that. Hey, just like, what's the bottom line? What is the bottom line? I can get this joke up out of my hair, my skin, everything. I don't want them no more. I don't want them. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Okay. That should be not a price that you should pay to get this man out your life. Okay, because Kevin, Kevin Jr. is big enough. He can go visit his daddy anytime he want to, if he want to. He probably don't want to. You know what I'm saying? Because he's still upset, and he just, I don't understand. You know, mama been giving you everything. Yes, you've been her better business manager. Yes, you've been doing this and that. But, you know, at least you ain't got to go work on nobody's job. Okay. Mama made a, a good living for all of us to eat well, live well, and all that. The only thing you had to do was be a good husband. Or just be up front with her. I don't want you no more, Wendy. Okay? Before I cheat on you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to let you go. That's what Kevin Jr. really wish you would have done. Then everybody could have been amicable in this situation. Like, okay, he told me he didn't want me no more. Okay, okay. I'll get over it. And then walk away. You know, whatever you think you needed. Let's negotiate. Let's have a mediator in between us. Let's go to mediation. You know what I'm saying? And get this stuff straight. Now, because you know you ain't going to give all of my money because you got to subtract from the times you've been cheating. You've been putting this woman up. She's been, you know, been spending my money, really, on everything that she wanted for us. Clothes, cars, houses, apartments, and all this other stuff. We got to subtract all that. We got to, because you're coming up negative. Negative. Okay, go, go. Uh, build her uh, a, a show or uh, some sort or uh, go get her business and you get her money y'all get invested start something new you know that's what i would have saw it like you ain't no nah. but then the guy be like I, I, I need him out of my life how much is it lord how much is it how much is it that's how i would have been i've been right now saying that so but anyway um it goes on to give us pictures of Wendy looking real ugly and then it's supposed to her husband who's not that flattering He's not easy on the eyes at all, okay? Then it goes on to say, Wendy uh, William Sir Hunter with divorced papers in April after he was rumored to have carried on a decade-long affair with Sharina Hudson, a woman he met through Charlemagne the God. Hudson gave birth on March 25th, and Hunter is thought to be the father. There's no divorce papers ready to be signed yet. And I'm like, why, Wendy? Why, why aren't the papers signed, honey? Why aren't the baby sign? It ain't too much. Uh, get in the mediation, okay? Get and sit. If you have to spend a whole month in mediation, okay? Nobody leave the room until we, you know, this ain't war or uh, war and roses. You know, they, they ain't one of them kind of pictures or films. We talk about, I want you out of my life, okay? I'm trying to be amicable. Let's be reasonable, okay? Better yet, let's take it back from when we both didn't have nothing and how did we have to go and acquire these things who put what for, uh, first, okay? Because let's not forget, the marriage ended a long time ago, but if you weren't satisfied, you should have just said it because we ain't going to be doing no on-side mistress that I'm paying for, okay? No, uh-uh. You should have just told me you didn't want me no more. Let me grieve. Let me get over it and let me move on, okay? But now you got to bring all this stuff to the forefront, embarrassing me ridiculously, knowing I have a hot topic show that dishes dirt on other people's downfalls or... Um, misfortunate circumstances they're going through. And now you try to put me on that same pedestal that I have to come and clock my own tea. How dare you? Major deduction right there. That's what she should have been doing. But you know, hey, anything to get the man out of her life. Okay. Um, but anyway, moving on, it goes on to say, Hudson, get, okay, okay. There's, okay, okay. And she's telling Sway, I want a divorce like yesterday. I want a divorce two months ago, three months ago, four months ago. Whenever I found out, four months ago, okay? I want a divorce and I want to be friends with Kevin, she added. I mean, and not because we have a son, but because that there was real love. See, that's why I get, I, I come off the train tracks with you when you had me choo-chooing, choo-chooing, chugga, 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 chugga. Y'all remember that little train? I had one when I was a kid. It's called chugga, chugga, choo-choo. It's a red little train. It just went, oh, that's back down memory lane. Ooh, okay. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I was on a train track with her. But once she had said, oh, uh, 
I love him or I still have love for him. Like, nah, when the, nah, the love went out the door when he creeped out on your behind, okay? Love don't live here anymore. Girl, that's what I would have been saying to him. Uh-uh, love is under new management. Yes, honey, the door is closed. It's not, uh-uh, we don't change the locks. You can't come in. Keep a knocking, but you can't come in. Return to Sunday. Da -da 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 -da. Undress unknown. Yes, we've been saying, I don't owe this, but goodness. You know what I'm saying? Shoot. Oh, I wouldn't have been like Luther. A house is not a home. When there are two of us are far apart. And no one there's has a broken heart. And that's you when you had a broken heart, honey. You had to change, change, change. R E S P C T. That's what you should have been telling Kevin since he didn't respect you. Another major deduction. Okay, man, he would been looking out there, fit it all in his pocket, and a and a, a pot to piss in to throw it out the window. How did that that slang go? I don't know where I'm going with it. But anyway, moving on from that. It said, uh, she know she still love all this little craziness going on. Uh-uh. You loved him at one point. But like I said, love don't live here anymore. No honey, stop fooling yourself. Man ain't gonna change. He be ah, he over oh, a decade he been cheating. God, please go. Uh-uh. Move on, Wendy. Move on, honey. Woo, take the dust from under your feet. Walk uh dust it off and keep walking if you gotta walk barefooted, huh? Leave them slippers there. Okay, but anyway, she said, I still love him, just not in that way. Uh, you either in love or you're not. You either in or out with me. I still have love for him, and I wish him the best in his new life with his new family. Honey, I don't think I was saying, honey, I love you in Jesus Christ, okay? Because I'm not supposed to hate you, and I'm not supposed to envy you or, or, or have any disheartment towards you, okay? But you can't eat at my table no more, okay? We can only be cordial, all right? Like, I know you, but I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? That's how we'll be living. But mm -mm, only in the love of Christ would I be saying, yes, I love him still. No, I love him in Christ. Like my ex-husband, I love him in Christ. But I don't want to be around him. No. No. Okay. I don't want to break bread with him. No. No. Okay. But that's just me. That's how I get down. And that's how I'm still getting down. But anyway, the article goes on to say, earlier this week, the Daily Mail reported that Williams hired Hunter as a business manager. And they were going to continue with their production company as well as charity work, which she said is a lie. Okay. And I heard that too today. It was they were talking on D, uh, Dia Hoogley's uh, show, a uh, radio talk show about she, you know, she was saying that she's gonna keep him as a good business man, manager because uh, he did do well by her in that you know in that aspect or whatnot. And I'm like, oh, why is she doing that? It's too many other business people out there that she can attain and, and get her back on top, and she's falling any in this situation. I, I wouldn't have him. No, he couldn't. No, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. Woo, but anyway, I was hearing that, but she went to uh, debunk it. She said it was a lie. Now, if y'all don't believe me, go to AtlantaBlackStar.com. Uh, Google is a confirmation of Wendy Williams, and it'll come up. Y'all see where I'm reading from. I ain't lying to you. If I'm lying, I'm flying. And you know, I'm too big to be up in the air flying, okay? With no safety net, to, you know, in case I had to come back down real hard. Mm -mm, honey, no. Okay, but she, hey, Wendy said that's a lie, okay? Going on, it says the New Jersey native also confirmed early reports that her manager is now the famed Hollywood producer, Bernie Young. The only business that he can manage right now is to sign some divorce papers, said Williams, about Hunter. All right, I have a manager, and his name is Bernie Young. Okay, that's what you said. Look him up, Google him, do whatever you have to do to confirm the story. Okay, so y'all, if y'all want to know the true tea, because she just spoke it, I, I can get with her. Because it's coming from her own mouth, all right? She's writing her own narrative. Now, if it's something different and we hear about it later, then we have to be like, tis, 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 Wendy. We're going to be out here. We're going to be on our uh, YouTube platforms. And we're going to be just blaring you out for filth, okay? Because we don't like to be lied to. Now, tell the truth and let the truth set you free, okay? Don't come up here with no mess. And we hear second or third stories and you be up there. Well, that's not what I meant. I was going through this, that, that. Okay, well, you're going to get some, oh, you're going to be getting some backlash, okay? Real backlash, Okay. But moving back to the article, it says Wendy's 
Williams pretty much said the same words during another interview on the news show Fox 5 New York this week and also admitted to cutting off friends who may have known about the cheating. I made new friends and, of course, kicked to the curb a lot of old friends. See, she's basically saying if you saw something, you should have told her. That's like if you see a crime being committed that's, you know, horrific. If you saw something, you should say something. And that's what you tell them to her friends, her past friends, her ex-friends. How would she want to categorize it at this time? <coughs> she said, uh-uh. You should have said it whether, you know, it, it was right or wrong or you didn't think it was going to be well received by me. You should have said it because then you would still be in my good graces. But right now, since I know you knew, I don't know you no more. I'm okay with that when I am. Dust them off your feet, honey, and keep walking. Then she says, where's the hunter share 18-year-old? Son named Kevin Jr. Okay, we know about uh, Kevin. You know, we know all about Kevin. But like I said, Kevin, 18 years old. Legally, he's a grown man. Okay, in our eyes, you're not. Really, until you get out on your own, you pay your own bills, you're taking care of your own livelihood, that kind of stuff. But in the eyes of the law, he's 18. Okay, he's grown. But technically, he's not really grown. He can't even share alcohol out there until he's 21. I don't know what's going on with these laws. You know, my thing is, okay, let's can we say we grown at 24? Because at least you don't have a chance to visit the world, travel the world for four years, or go get you a college degree. Be well-rounded, okay, with education and just dealing and interacting with other people of different cultures. Learn different languages. Yeah, you can say, okay, you grown. But, hey. However the law look at it, however you look at it, however you're raising your children. That's in your own household. Those are your set of rules. But I'm just giving y'all what Wendy Williams said. She debunking everything. She's like, uh -uh, I'm still trying to go through mediation, in a sense, litigation to get my divorce sealed, signed, and delivered. As I am no longer Hunter. Okay, strictly Wendy Williams. Yes, my birth name. <laughs> My claim to frame who I was before I became Mrs. Hunter, okay? But on this show and of my life, this is Wendy, Wendy Williams, okay? Wendy Williams, okay? Get into it, all right? And she said, uh-uh, her husband, ex-husband, however she want to look at him. Nah, he got a whole nother family. He need to go on and play daddy, husband, or whatever. But, mm, -mm Lord, don't live here no more. We finna get a divorce. You go on and marry that Sharina woman. So her last name could be Hunter instead of Hudson. Or maybe she want to be hyphenated Hudson Hunter. Whatever. She's still going to be the gold digger that destroyed my marriage. Whatever. That's how we're going to see her in real life. Real talk. Okay. But um, I ain't got no love for neither one of y'all in the sense of that I really care for you all. That I'm going to share space breathing air room with you all no i'm just gonna love you from afar okay i'm gonna love you from afar okay oh when william said okay so we're just gonna put her on her own little throne and say this is what she said and it's golden i approve it it's got my stuff of approval sealed signed and delivered okay wendy but i don't want to come back Two weeks later or, to, or tomorrow, because you don't cut another story and say, oh, I, I, I was just not. I was playing with y'all. <laughs> I'm still going to stay with my husband. We're going to ride it till the wheels fall off. Okay. Then I'll be uh, sadly upset with you. But anyway, it is your life. You do what you want to do. I just thought I would express my opinion about it. You know what I'm saying? Because I have one. And. Like-minded people may agree with me, but they just don't have a social media platform to say, yes, I agree with you 100%. But that's all I have for this story, y'all. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it, liked it, indifferent with it. I don't know. You know, I'm sure y'all let me know in the comments because I love them all, you know. And I do respond back. But y'all be blessed. I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.